Okay, so this video might not be as fun <laughs> as usual, but please bear with me because we need your help. The average American funeral is in the seven to $8,000 range, but they can go much, much higher. If you come from a low income family of any race, any religion, a death, especially an unexpected death, can be financially devastating for your family. You can pay a funeral home to do any number of things, embalm, chemically preserve a body, makeup, fancy caskets, hearses, any of that you want, it's available. But you can also say, for financial reasons or simply personal preference, no, I don't want that. I want to be more involved. I want to take care of the body myself. And just like that, your costs are drastically reduced. But just because it's less expensive does not mean it's less respectful. We need to start cutting the crap that more expensive means more dignified. For some, having a wake or keeping a dead body in the home seems scary, but it's what humans all over the world have been doing for thousands of years. A dead body is not immediately decomposing. As long as you put on the air conditioner, if you have it or it's available, or use ice packs or dry ice with the body, it's going to be fine. Completely fine. Now, all of a sudden, there's this bill, SB 595, introduced by a senator into the Virginia Senate that says, any person that's not a funeral establishment that has a dead body in their custody for more than 48 hours must refrigerate the body at less than 40 degrees or shall enter into an agreement, which means a financial agreement, with a local funeral home. Basically, that's saying, unless you have a walk-in corpse refrigerator, at your home, which just a hunch you maybe don't, you have to go to a funeral home. If SB 595 passes, a family could walk into a funeral home confused and overwhelmed and say, I don't have money for this. I just wanna see my mom one last time and take her home. And the funeral director could look them straight in the eye and say, that sounds so lovely, but unfortunately in the state of Virginia, that's illegal. You have to have your body under refrigeration at the funeral home, unless you, you have a corpse refrigerator at your home. Honestly, this is a strange bill to be put forth by a senator because nobody stands to benefit except funeral homes. Funeral homes who maybe aren't too pleased with the lost revenue for more and more people taking charge of their own funerals. So why would a senator introduce such a minutia level bill? Oh, Senator Kenneth Alexander, I see you're also a funeral home owner. Really? Really? You put forward a bill that directly benefits your business and your industry at the expense of families in Virginia? Here's the thing, this is only the beginning of this. We've seen it happen before and it's going to continue to happen. Delaware in November, 2015, proposed, voted in, had signed by the governor into law saying anyone who obtains price lists from a funeral home, which they are required to give you or shares them with anybody so they can maybe know in advance what a funeral home will charge and make informed consumer decisions, that person is practicing illegally as a funeral director, which is a misdemeanor. So you want to help a grieving family member arrange a funeral by calling around town for them? Illegal. Really? Since then, some people of sense have realized how wildly unconstitutional that is. So a committee has drafted a bill to delete that provision from the law, but it hasn't gotten a hearing yet. So yeah, in uh, Delaware, that's still the law. The death care industry is a $15 billion a year industry. They have lawyers, they have lobbyists, and they are gonna keep sneaking things under the radar. If you are a citizen, you need to stand up and say something. And if you are a funeral director, an ethical funeral director, you need to say, guys, stop it. You are making us look awful. Thanks to captain of industry, Senator Alexander, the bill has already passed through the Senate, is on its way to the House, and is gonna be signed by the governor. And here's what I wanna tell you you can do about it. 
First of all, do you live in Virginia? Do you know anyone who lives in Virginia? Awesome, we need you most of all. Since the bill is on its way to the House, we need to email representatives, call representatives, tweet representatives. The National Home Funeral Alliance has a great list of all the things you can do that I'll link below. Let them know that this is ludicrous. There is also a change.org petition that I'll link below that you should sign no matter where you live. We have only just begun to fight, as they say. Thank you for caring about families. Share, whether it's this video, the petition, your feelings, they will only change and stop when we show them that we are watching them and that we see that their behavior is financially motivated. Brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home, and donations from viewers like you. Really? We're watching.